Hey guys, Carney Pop here, and I have an idea that I just wanted to get out there about Smash Brothers. This isn't about analyzing any footage, I'm not telling you about my history with the game, because believe me, I've got a history with the game, and I love this, and I'm so hyped for Smash Bros. Ultimate. But no, I'm here to talk about the man himself, Sakurai, and how I think that Smash Bros. Ultimate is Sakurai's last Smash game. I hear you all saying, Carney Pop, every Smash game is Sakurai's last Smash game. The man retires from the Smash series like Miyazaki retires from making movies. He pretends to, and then he doesn't. And believe me, I hear that, but I think something is different this time. Because I think Sakurai wants to go out on top. Public opinion and the fanbase's opinion of Sakurai has changed drastically over the years. Back when Brawl came out, it was at an all-time low. People were like, Sakurai doesn't give a fuck about the competitive community. He doesn't care about making a game that has longevity and is fun to play on the competitive level. And he gets pissy when his cutscenes get leaked. And all of that put together meant that people just didn't like the man. Because they didn't like Brawl. Fast forward to Smash 4 and Sakurai gets back a lot of the love lost. Because Smash 4 was a fun game. It was faster. We saw from the invitational of that game to when it actually got released that Sakurai was listening. He changed things. He made sure that there were constant updates to make the game better so that more characters became viable and that the powerful characters got toned down. Because if you want to go play vanilla Smash 4, you're going to have a bad time. Sheik's back air kills at 80. Diddy Kong can kill you in 7 up airs. It's a ridiculous game. The impression was that Sakurai didn't want Smash to be super fast. He didn't want all of that fun stuff that a lot of us really like about it. He didn't want it to be this hectic game. He wanted it to be a little more measured. And there were some people that were really into that. I enjoyed Smash 4, don't get me wrong. But this game, Smash Ultimate, looks like a whole other beast. Look at it. Every character back. Every single character is back. Whatever your Smash, whatever your favorite Smash before now... Your main is here. You don't have to worry about them. You don't have to wait for them to be DLC. They're already here. And they all look great. And the visual effects of the game look great. And it looks like all the stages are returning, or at least most of them. And we've heard from places that not only does every stage have an Omega form and a Battlefield form, but you can also turn off hazards. And that's something that the community itself has been clamoring for to get more legal stages. And Ridley's in the game. Ridley, who it was a meme that he was too big to be put into Smash 4, just has enough of a fan base that he got in the game. Sakurai even mentioned that it was the overseas fan base, the American fan base for this game, that got Ridley in. And I think that the reason Sakurai is pulling out all of the stops to make something that looks like the perfect Smash game between speed and freedom of movement and good mechanics and fun stages and the number of characters is that Sakurai is done. He wants to be able to go out on top with the absolute best Smash game there has been in the entire series. And I think the other reason that it's feasible that this is his last game is that Namco Bandai learned how to make a Smash game with Smash 4. So there's more people who know how to build one of these games. Not only that, but it is incredibly evident that Sakurai cares about the state of this game. Sakurai was looking on when the Invitational happened and saw MKLeo doing Bayo combos, and he shook his head. He was taking advice from all of the pro players with, with a translator so that he could do everything he could to make this the best game possible. And all the pro players had feedback that they were ready to give to someone who's close to Sakurai. Armada started filling his out days after the event so that he would have time to sit on his impressions. Sakurai wants this to be the perfect Smash game. This impossible, incredible game where all of the characters are there and most of them are good and they're all fun to play and it has a million fucking stages and I even think there's probably going to be a good amount of single player content in this game. We haven't seen jack fuck all about it, but I believe that Sakurai is going to push everything to the limit and then he's going to leave. I think he's going to push everything to the limit and say, this is the mold from which all other Smash games need to be made. But I'm not the one undergoing this stress. This feels like someone putting their all into something so that they can walk away.
And if it is time for Sakurai to walk away, I would be okay. Because eventually this series is going to outlive his drive to work on it. And I love the man, especially now. But it would be really interesting to see where the series goes after he leaves it. Overall, I think that he's putting everything into Smash Ultimate so it can be the best Smash possible. And then I think he's going to retire on top. Only time will tell. That's my little conspiracy theory for the day. This is Carney Pop, signing off.